Mike Gallagher, the Wisconsin Republican Congressman, kind enough to join us. Congressman, Happy New Year to you. I imagine for a lot of parents, uh, this is not a happy tiding here in a lot of the districts in your state. What's going on? It's a nightmare for parents, particularly working class parents in Wisconsin. I mean, we've seen the devastating effect that lockdowns and school shutdowns have had on our kids' education over the past years. And the idea that we're going to go back to this failed policy, this fear-induced policy, is only going to cause our kids to suffer more. And I can't help but reach the conclusion that we have teachers unions who are holding our kids hostage and allowing ourselves to be dominated by the same fear which has dominated our lives for the last two years, fear which we're now passing on to our kids. I, I just believe this is not scientific. And look at the skyrocketing cases of anxiety, depression, and suicide among kids. We cannot go back to this. And you're right, it's not just crazy cities like Chicago. Here in Wisconsin, we got schools in Madison, Milwaukee, even here in Green Bay, the capital of common sense usually. We're considering shutting down schools again. Please, I am begging parents, Democrats, Republicans, independents, we need to unite in opposition to this dangerous nonsense. Um, I don't know how it applies across the state, Congressman, or even in your district, but I imagine kids have to wear masks. Uh, what, what are the requirements for those who do have in-person uh, classes, at least for the time being? It depends uh, by school district and school. As you could imagine, a lot of the public schools are more on the risk-averse side of the equation, requiring masking where private or parochial schools are not. Uh, listen, we now have public health officials saying that cloth masks— which is what our kids are wearing, right? Our kids are not wearing N95s. They're wearing cloth masks that are usually not even over their nose, do not work to prevent the spread of Omicron. I see no scientific justification for masking children. And I would go further and argue that if you limit a child's ability to interact face-to-face -face and to cue off of facial recognition, you are having a massively adverse impact on their ability to learn. And look at the numbers. I mean, we haven't tested half the kids in places like Milwaukee and Madison, but recent tests for those we did last year show that in Madison, in Milwaukee, 60% of kids failed. They're in the lowest category for mathematics, 40% in Madison schools right now. We're failing these kids. They're going to fall further behind. We have to, we have to move forward. We have to keep schools open and we should not be masking our children. If I can switch gears, uh, Congressman, a little bit, you know, we're going to be getting some news out of the Federal Reserve today that actually goes back to a meeting a little over a month ago, which they're likely going to telegraph exactly how they'll be dealing with inflation. Some of your colleagues have been urging uh, the Federal Reserve to start hiking interest rates and, and, and soon. Do you agree with that? I do. I think it's uh, long overdue. I think we've gotten drunk off, uh, you know, multiple rounds of QE for the last uh, multiple years. And at some point, that has to stop. We have to correct course. And that time is now. Uh, we can't continue to double down on the policies of the past. And inflation is a real concern for working class families, especially in my district. It has a disproportionate impact on those who are living on a fixed income uh, and those who uh, right. you know, are in the, the lower side of the socioeconomic spectrum. And so I do think right now we have to take steps uh, to correct that. Another thing we can do and sort of separate from Fed policy is when it comes to energy policy, right? I think the Biden administration's energy policy is nonsensical. To wage a, more, wage a war on domestic energy production is a gift to America's adversaries abroad. And the price for that is being felt at the pump right now. And that hurts. That hurts working class families in my district. That's not acceptable. But that's something that's in our power to turn around. And I urge the Biden administration to change course. Got it. All right, Congressman, always good seeing you. Hope you have a happy new year. Mike Gallagher, the Wisconsin Republican. Congressman, the Q.